All right, how's it going, Pride at the Capitol? Man, for a second, I thought this was the funeral for Governor Ron DeSantis's dying presidential campaign. I would think any funeral for that campaign would have lots of rainbow flags, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm so honored to join y'all today. I proudly serve District 42 in the Florida State Legislature over in the Orlando area. And of course, um, thank you, yeah, here for the 407. And I proudly stand here, not just as an ally, but as an accomplice to the LGBTQ plus community. And so what does that mean? That means that we're not just going to show up at Pride looking real cute, which I will do, of course, but we're also gonna show up at every Board of Medicine meeting to defend our trans kids. We're gonna, we're gonna show up in committee meetings and ask the tough questions and, and build a foundation for lawsuits, which huge shout out to those who filed lawsuits against the drag ban and, I mean, I gotta get some hamburger marries. I don't know about y'all, but. And of course, to Simone, Chris, and others who have filed lawsuits challenging all the attacks in the trans community, the work we do in this body, even we don't win in the chamber, we're winning in the community. And we gotta remember that. I know this place can be really demoralizing sometimes, y'all, but please remember that when you show up, it matters. Because we are sending a message to the world that we are here, many of us are queer, and, and and we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. And the future is brighter, more colorful because of us. Now, let me be clear. You know, Governor Ron DeSantis has caused a lot of harm. And we laugh at his family campaign. But of course, he, he has run his campaign on the backs of people in this chamber right now. He has run this campaign demonizing my colleagues, demonizing my community, painting a picture of fear. And you have to ask yourselves why. Why run a campaign like that? And for me, it's two things. One is that it's definitely projection. I mean, have folks read about the Zieglers? Have you heard about the Zieglers? I don't know how much time we got, but let's just be clear. We have, we have the former chairman of the Republican Party of Florida and one of the founders of Moms for Liberty engaged in a threesome. And, and, and let me say, I'm cool with that. Yeah. I'm cool with that. I'm not cool with sexual assault and rape allegations, to be clear. But, but if you want to express sexual freedom, that's fine. Don't take it away from the rest of us. Now, the other, the other assumption is that when you can't solve real problems, you got to create fake ones. I'm old enough to remember that when, when I first got in this legislature with my brother, Senator Shev Jones, we were having bipartisan support for the Competitive Workforce Act. Joe remembers that too. We had Republicans who were, were begging to prime code that legislation, going to pride events in their community. And then what happens, right? All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it became, it became red meat to demonize and attack diversity our immigrant community, and of course, our LGBTQ plus community. These fear tactics are designed to divide, deflect, and distract. Because my colleagues don't have the solutions to solve things like proper insurance or housing affordability. Instead of holding corporations accountable for making life harder in this state, they're gonna attack you instead. And so we need to do what we can to fight back. We need to do what we can to help win hearts and minds of our Floridians who are caught in this, who, who don't have enough information to understand what it means to be trans and how a parent with a trans kid is just like any other parent. They want their kid to be healthy, happy, and strong. Yeah. We, need to, we need to stay united. I am so just thrilled to be in this space. When I heard y'all were coming, especially this early in session, it just made me feel so good because, because we need this type of force every single day. We need to show the rest of the country what Florida really is like. We are much more than Florida man. <laughs> we are a diverse, beautiful state that, that cares about everyday people. We want to lift one another up, not kick one another down. And so we need to call out the hypocrisy, but we also need to tell our stories. And as you travel in the legislature today with your meetings with lawmakers, I want you to feel the courage to be yourself. And I want you to know that as hard as it gets, you are not alone. 
because you got people like me, members of the Democratic Caucus in both sides of the chamber who are not standing in front of you, not standing behind you, we're right next to you. Arm in arm, marching forward together for a, straight, a state where every person has the freedom to be healthy, prosperous, and safe. So let's get it done. Show up to every Board of Medicine meeting. Show up to every State Board of Education. Board of Governors, y'all, they're going after, they're going after not just DEI, but, but sociology as a program. Please understand that every culture war really is a class war. We have to do what we can to ensure, regardless of how much money you have, that you can read books about yourself, that you can access care that you need. Please do not allow them to divide us. We have so much more in common what brings us together than what sets us apart. Thanks, y'all. Let's go.